Hello and welcome to Your Mat. My name is Chelsea. Today I will be guiding you through a 30 minute full body flow. We will start our practice in seated, just for a couple moments to bring our attention and our awareness to our bodies and our breath. So you can find me in a comfortable seated position of your choice. And we'll soften the eyelids close when we get there. Just taking a couple moments to slow down before we begin practice. Letting go of what it took to get you here, letting go of what happened before this, up until this point that you've now arrived on your mat. We'll slow down our nervous systems with three deep breaths to begin. So exhale all the air out of the lungs, empty release. Take a full inhale, feel the rib cage and the belly expand, hold full. Big exhale out of the mouth, empty, let it go. One more time, two more times rather, inhale fully and deeply, hold. Exhale completely, empty, let it go. One more time, inhale, filling the body with breath, hold full. Exhale completely, sigh the air out, out, out. Finding a natural rhythm of breath in and out of the nasal passages. Perhaps just by placing your attention on your breath, slightly lengthening and deepening the breath, you already feel a little more present, a little more in your body, a little more prepared for practice. So we'll continue that intentional way of breathing in and out of the nose, staying connected to our breath. And our intention for practice today is to really slow things down. So often we rush to what's next in life and on our mats. So really being in each shape, in each transition, and indulging in what each shape and moment has on offer. And gently draw your hands to your heart center in Anjali Mudra. If you would like to set an individual intention for your practice, you're welcome to do so. And we'll gently bow our foreheads towards our fingertips in a gesture of gratitude for this time, our beautiful able bodies. And we'll gently blink the eyes open. Inhale, reaching the arms up towards the sky, grow tall through the spine. Exhale, we'll take a twist over towards the left. So place your left hand over towards the right. Place your left hand outside your right thigh and then rotate further back with that right shoulder, keeping the sitting bones grounded, growing tall through the spine. And then using the right fingertips on the mat behind you as a bit of traction to further rotate. Breathing in and breathing out. And we'll take two more breaths like that. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, breathing in. And breathing out. Really nice. The inhale brings us back through center, arms rise. Exhale, gently rotating over towards the left, this time right hand outside the left thigh, growing tall through the spine, breathing in. And then rotating further towards the left, leaning back or twisting back with that left shoulder. Two more breaths, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Really nice. Inhale brings you back through center. Grow tall through the spine. Reach the arms to sky. 
and on the exhale we'll take some big circular rotations with the wrists all the way down to the mat until we place the hands behind us, fingertips facing our sitting bones, knees are bent, grounding into the soles of the feet. If this is too much for the wrists, you can spring the, spread the fingertips out towards the sides of the mat rather than fingertips to sitting bones. Wrap the triceps in behind you, almost like chaturanga arms, ground into the soles of the feet and then lift your hips up towards the sky. Try to get your knees, hips and shoulders all in one line. You can gaze up towards the sky, tuck your chin or allow your head to hang back if it's comfortable for your neck. Squeezing the glutes, imagine a block between the knees so you feel the hamstrings turn on. And then really try to lift out of the shoulders. Slight engagement through the core. Inhale. And exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Stay for one more breath, breathe in, lift up. Exhale gently, place your sitting bones between your hands. Straighten your legs out in front of you. Pedal out your legs, bending and straightening one leg at a time. Find lift through the chest as you breathe in. Micro bend to the knees. And then on the exhale, walk your fingertips forward out in front of you as you bow your chest over the line of the legs, tucking your chin in. And two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Keep flexing your feet back towards your shins, including your pinkies. Inhale. And exhale. Really nice. Gently rolling up through the spine, leaning back on the sitting bones, crossing the knees and the shins. And we roll over to a tabletop position. Finding your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. We'll tuck the toes under. Inhale for cow pose. Lower the belly, lift the heart, tilt the tailbone up towards the sky. Imagine sliding your armpits down into the band of your pants so you feel your lats engage. Breathe in here. Exhale, untuck the toes. Now we reverse it, curling the pubic bone towards the armpits rounding the spine as if you were lifting the back of the heart. You can tuck your chin into your chest, lifting back of the heart to the sky. We'll move through that twice more, tucking the toes under, lowering the belly, lifting the heart and the tailbone. Breathe in. Exhale, untucking toes, rounding the spine, curling the hip points to armpits, chin to chest. One more time, tucking the toes, inhaling for cow. And exhaling for cats. Really nice. Neutral tabletop we meet. Tuck the toes under. Downward facing dog. Hips up high. Take a couple moments to bend and straighten one leg at a time here. Pedaling out the legs. Finding your rhythm of breath, a natural, easy in and exhale out of the nasal passages. Really nice. And then we'll meet back in stillness. Bending your knees slightly, lifting your tailbone up and back on the diagonal. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lift up high on the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, sinking your heels toward your, rather your hips towards your heels. And then springing forward as you step your right foot between your hands. Lowering your back knee down. Inhale, lifting your arms up towards the sky. Breathe in, curling your pubic bone forward. Strong through the legs, strong through the arms. Really nice. We'll stay for the breath in here. 
And on the exhale, we're going to slice open towards the right, taking a vertical right or a twist, reaching the right arm back behind you, reaching the left arm forward in front of you, keeping your hips nice and stable, your pelvis locked. Stay for the breath in. Stay for the breath out. Bring your right hand to your left hamstring. Reach your left arm along the ear and then drive your pelvis forward, feeling a nice deep stretch into the left hip flexor and psoas. Really nice. Staying for the breath in. Staying for the breath out. We'll come forward, hooking that left tricep over the right knee and thigh, pushing down as you bring your hands to prayer, pushing down top hand into lower hand to create some space between your belly and your thigh. Curling the pubic bone forward, engaging that left glute. We'll tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee. Three breaths. Really nice. One more breath in, one more breath out. We rotate the chest over towards the left, coming into Skandasana over that right leg. You're welcome to lower your fingertips down towards the mat or keep your hands at heart center in prayer. Keep spinning those left toes up towards the sky, melting your sitting bones down towards the mat. Full breath in, full breath out. We'll rotate over that right leg, coming into a lunge. Strong through the legs, ground down through the feet. Inhale, high crescent lunge. We'll stay for the breath in. On the exhale, cactus the elbows in towards the waist, open the heart space and then keep the arms swimming around. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Really nice. We'll rise up high onto the balls of the feet Bend the knees, sinking sitting bones to heels, and then shifting forward, this time we step the left foot between the hands, lower the back knee down, curling the pubic bone forward, rising up to Anjaniyasana, or crescent lunge. Holding in the shape, strong through the legs, you should already feel a deep stretch into the right hip flexor. Stay for the breath in. And on the exhale, we slice open towards the left, vertical left, reaching the left arm back behind us, right arm forward in front of us. Continue to curl the pubic bone forward to engage that right glute. Breathe in and stay for the breath out. Bring your left hand to your right hamstring, Sweep your right arm along your ear, driving the pelvis forward, feeling a nice deep stretch into that right psoas, right hip flexor. Your glutes is working to stabilize you. Breathing in. On the exhale, we come out of it, hooking the right tricep over the left knee or thigh. Bring the hands to prayer, push down into the bottom hand to create some space between rib cage and thigh three breaths. We'll go ahead and tuck the toes under, lifting the back knee. Inhale. And exhale. Really nice. Staying connected to sensations within the body. Staying connected to your breath. One more big inhale. One more exhale, we lift the chest and rotate over towards the right for Skandasana. You can keep your hands at heart center or fingertips to the mat for support, spinning those right toes up towards the sky, sinking nice and low. Really nice, full breath in. 
full breath out. We're rotating to the front of the mat over that left leg for low lunge. Stay strong through the legs. Inhale, high crescent lunge, we rise up. Pause and hold your lunge, curling the pubic bone forward. Breathing in, exhale, cactus the elbows, lifting the heart. Keep the arms moving all the way around. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Stay for one more long, smooth inhale. One more long, smooth exhale. Bend the knees, gaze forward, top of the mat, step, hop or jump. Find a halfway lift as you bring your hands to your shins, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, breathe out. Two more like that, find a halfway lift, breathe in. And a forward fold, breathe out. One more time, a half lift, inhale. And a forward fold, exhale. And gently bend the knees generously, roll up to standing, stacking one vertebra at a time. Find a juicy shoulder loop up, back, and down. Really nice. Grounding into your feet, growing tall through the spine, Tadasana, curling your pubic bone forward, finding your center of gravity, finding your breath. Landing in your body. Really nice. Grounding into the right foot, you're going to spread wide through the toes, hugging your left knee into your chest. You can interlace your hands around the knee or the shin. Just letting your stabilizing ankle and support system turn on. Bring your left hand to your left knee, your right hand to your right hip, and start to open the knee up toward the side of the room. Finding a steady gaze, finding a consistent breath in and out of the nose. Really nice, stay for the breath in. On the exhale, you can now guide the knee so the left knee moves over the right for eagle. Left arm under the right, either capturing opposite shoulders or bringing the palms of the hands to touch. Sitting down nice and deep, trying to draw the hands or the elbows up towards the sky and then the sitting bones down toward the mat. Two more breaths. One more breath in. One more breath out on the inhale. We'll open the arms up as you come to standing. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Really nice. We'll take that over to the other side. Spreading wide into the left toes, grounding into the left sole of the foot, hugging the right knee in towards the chest, breathing in. Again, breathing out, taking a moment for your body to switch on all the muscles in the ankles. Bring your left hand to your left hip, right hand to your right knee, and we'll start to open that right knee up to the side of the room. Find a steady point to gaze at, slowing down your breath. Really nice, one more breath in. On the exhale, gliding or guiding the right knee over the left. Eagle pose, wrapping up tight. If you need balance, you can place the toes to the mat. Right arm under the left, taking hold of the shoulders or the hands, sitting down nice and deep. Three breaths. Elbows and fingertips to sky. Sitting bones down to the mat.
One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, open the arms as you come to stand. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Really nice. Rising or lifting the arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips. Find a halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to high plank, your choice if you would like a chaturanga. You're welcome to move through one, otherwise you can simply lift your hips up high for downward facing dog. Full inhale, full exhale, two more like that, full inhale, full exhale. One more breath in and one more breath out. Gently lower the knees, bring the toes to touch. Sink your sitting bones to your heels, child's pose. Walk your hands out in front of you. We'll stay for the breath in. And on the exhale, walk the hands over towards the right. Draw down with that left armpit. Inhale, walking the hands through center. Exhale, walking the hands over towards the left, drawing down with that right armpit. Really nice. Inhale, walking the hands through center and softening the chest down towards the mat. We're gonna move into one round of dolphin here, which is down dog on the forearm. So you can keep your forearms grounded in a figure 11 shape or interlace the hands together. You can bring your knees closer together so the hip width apart, tuck the toes under and lift the hips up high. You can keep your knees bent if you like, melting your chest back towards your thighs. So it's almost down dog on the forearms really pushing down into the forearm so you lift the shoulders away from the mat. Soften your neck and your jaw. And we're gonna hold for another four breaths. Really nice, slow and controlled with the breath. One more breath in. On the exhale, lower the knees down towards the mat, untuck the toes, sit your sitting bones on your heels, wrap your arms around your legs, bring your forehead down to the mat. Slow down your breath. Coming back to the intention of slowing things down. Taking longer, deeper inhales, longer, deeper exhales. Being in your body without anticipating what is next. And gently lifting your head as you come up to seated, shifting yourself off of your heels and then extending your legs out in front of you. The modification is to keep the knees bent, otherwise you can extend your legs, whatever is most comfortable for your lower back. We're going to roll down, reaching the arms out in front of you curling the pubic bone forward as so you move into a deep posterior tilt trying to imprint your lower back into the mat. And when you find your way onto your back, you can draw your knees into your chest. Really nice. We'll place the soles of the feet down onto the mat. Bring your hands on either side of the hips. Take a couple of pelvic tilts here. So curling your pubic bone up towards the sky, flattening the lower back into the mat and then 
tilting your pubic bone forward and down, creating some space for sunlight to peep through. Just moving through three to five tilts. And then the next time you flatten your lower back into the mat, you're gonna lift up into a bridge pose, curling one vertebra up at a time, staying broad across the collarbone, squeezing an imaginary block between the knees and the inner thighs. You want your pubic bone higher than your hip points. Really nice and try to lengthen the thigh bones forward and away from you. Three more breaths, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. And on the exhale, we slowly come down the same way we came in, one vertebra at a time. Heel toe your feet to the width of the mat. Let the knees fall in so you bring the left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Constructive rest pose. Full breath in. Full breath out. Heel toe your feet to touch so we reverse it. Let your knees spill out wide. Feel a nice opening into the groin. Slow and steady breathing. Focused attention and awareness. One more breath in. One more breath out. And gently close your knees like a book. Draw your knees into your chest. You're gonna cross the right knee over the left. Take hold of opposite foot with opposite hand. Try to get the feet somewhat equidistant. Squeeze the inner thighs together. And then gently changing out the legs, left leg on top of the right. Really nice, one more breath in. And on the exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Make yourself into a tiny little ball by drawing the knees in towards the chest, breathe in. And on the exhale, extending the limbs for Shavasana. You can let your arms splay out beside you, your legs extend, palms face up, toes out, heels in. A deep sigh out the mouth to let go of any stagnant energy, any heat. A full inhale to fill the body with fresh oxygen and prana. A big exhale to signal release and relaxation to the body. Relaxing the space between the eyebrows. Relaxing the cheeks, the tongue and the mouth. Softening the palms of the hands, soles of the feet. Relaxing the belly. Allowing the entire body to soften into the earth beneath you. Feeling the ground beneath you hold you, support you, carry you. Give yourself permission to fully surrender.
I will leave you here on your mat to explore the space that you've created within. Move slowly when you do choose to do so. Thank you so much for joining me in this space and for letting me guide you. So much gratitude from me to you.